Like the recession. Equivalent fraction. Least common denominator. Reciprocal. Improper fraction. Distributed property. Direct variation. Unit conversion. Graphing on a coordinate plane. <laughs> I mean rational expressions. Sinusoid. Amplitude. Logarithm. Locus. Radical. Graphing absolute value inequalities. Solving augmented matrices. Factoring quadratic equations. The binomial theorem. Dividing polynomials. Four hundred equals in eight hours, right? Twenty m. So m. So you can tell that the rate was. And the main way we're going to do that, right? First, we got to simplify each side, but then we're going to do what to both sides of the equation? We're going to use what kind of operation? Arturo. Inverse operation. Inverse operations, right? So guys, it's the same rules. This is what I'm talking about. It's the same rules that you guys have used. But we're supplying a new situation. We're using fractions here, okay? We distributed the 2 to the um, oh, A okay. and the 2. 2 times A and then 2 times 2. Length times uh, width times depth, that equals area cubed. So that's what we're doing. All right, so the calendar has their assignments and what we're going to cover for the day. So today we're starting off class with the quiz over section 5-5, five, five, and then they're going to work on problems for 5-6, and then as their homework, they will watch this video of me explaining how to complete the square. That's the day, but this is going to be individual work right now, okay? So, go ahead, get to work. Um, your starting options are 1, 6, or 9. So you just guess and check to get the answer? Okay, so if you weren't going to guess and check, uh, which obviously works, that's one uh, way to do it. What's another way that you could do it? Victoria? Use an equation. Yeah. Use an equation, okay. What equation? I don't, I don't see anything, so what would you do? 2W. 11S percent. Yeah, there are a bunch of answers so, to this. Okay. It's not just one answer. One, if you think you want easier problems than this. Six, if you want the same difficulty. Nine, if you want harder problems. So let's take a look at number five. Before we go, before we start, what's our goal? What are we trying to do when we're solving this equation? We've been writing these equations for the sinusoids, but today something different happens. Right? And you see right at the top of the board, you have um, two different equations. It's actually the same thing, one's just in terms of cos, the other's in terms of sine. But what you need to know is what the letters stand for. So the capital A, what part of the graph does that apply to? B. The center line? The yeah. center line, right. And then the capital B, what does that refer to? Um, how high the amplitude. The chain. What is the amplitude? How high and how low it goes. How, how high and how low it goes above the center line. Today we're starting a new unit on like number theory and we're going to get, it's going to lead us into um, working with fractions. Yeah, how far it goes down. How many units uh, yeah, the, li the lines are, so we can subtract or add or do whatever we need to do. To isolate the variable, right? And we might need to do some simplifying on each side of the equation on our way to do that. But our goal, right, our ultimate goal is let's isolate the variable. And what does the plus sign tell you? And either it means or if it goes up. It's a positive, in this case, sign, which means it does what? It goes up. Starts up from where? The order he's studying for this test he's going to take tomorrow. Um, if they take a quiz early, they get 10% bonus. If they take a test early, they get 5%. Okay, so can anybody tell me how to find the vertex of this quadratic equation? Rebecca. 